Hmm. Hello, welcome and or welcome back to Lena My Name, Luna the Moon, Lena Luna's Tarot Channel. And today we are reading for Mac. I hope that I'm saying your names correct your name correctly. Um <clears throat> Today we're reading into whether or not it's over for them. Well, I quote, is it over for us? So, yeah, we'll look into that. But before that, I will first disclaim that I am not a professional reader. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest. And just like, please be kind. I am doing this as a hobby. So, um... I'm just doing this for y'all and myself. Uh, <laughs> damn, my brain be lagging today. Um, but yeah, I am just doing this as a hobby. I hope that you guys can be nice. But please um, communicate with me about what you think of the reading after you're done with this video. Uh, my contact info is in the description box below. And, but like, I mean, you reached out on Twitter anyways, right? So, yeah, just, you can talk to me there, but you can also talk to me on other platforms. That's okay as well. But anyways, um, please consider to comment, like, and or subscribe and share this to you with your friends. And we will dive into the reading right now. <clears throat> okay, so your card is... Your tarot card is the Ten of Cups in reverse. So first of, the number 10 is about ending. And the suit of cups talks about emotions, relationships, intimacy, and creativity. And it's also a water card, so it may or may not relate, like involve the characteristic of water elements such as cold wet and soft and also maybe uh, involve people of the water sign such as C cancer scorpio and pisces usually i would say that this card is a happily ever after card um because it's like a family thing and then uh okay here's the thing because your question is, is it truly over for us? This card is about ending. So, like, it gives off really... I'm very conflicted as well. So I feel like this is kind of the situation. It can go both ways, depending on your action. It can end right now, and this is the ending. Or if you do something, which... um will be like the action will be advised in this card and also the oracle card um if you do something about it then you guys can probably reach happily ever after because this card is kind of about like fat like having a family and things like that but since it's in reverse i think that it can talk about like it, like right now it is like a like an obstacle and like a bump for you guys to if okay basically like if you go through this then you guys your bond is going to be stronger but if not then that's the end that's basically it that's like the vibe that i'm getting because like you can see this this card is such like a pretty card if you're just looking at this like like there's hope and dreams because like uh the sun and then the cups are kind of in the colors of rainbow if you think of it that way so it's kind of it's like very dreamy so it feels like if you can go past these you can if you can go past this obstacle you can probably get through it get through it and have uh, reached the happily ever after but that's it from the service meaning and i will go into the a definitory meaning of this card 
So the suit of cups, like a fairy tale, ends with a happily ever after card. In this moment, the hard work of fostering a healthy, loving relationship culminates in a sense that all is right with the world. In addition, looking from this vantage point at the future is glorious. You're all sharing the same beautiful dream and ready to take the next step together. The future may bring challenges, but you know together you can face anything. The advice is to really enjoy this feeling and print it in your heart. Make sure your loved ones know without a doubt how you feel. You can draw on this feeling for strength during hard times. The reverse is showing a false front, family arguments, broken promises, or vows. So yeah, so right now the reverse since like relating what is said, so maybe what's led to the breakup is like show, like not being true to each other. Mm -hmm arguments broken promises or vows so what is like i think the step that you have to take for this to carry on or like restart is communication like sit down and have a talk and just talk about how why things ended is it truly over do you guys want to mend everything and just like don't go through the same thing again about like being dishonest blah blah, blah things like that basically just like talk things over and see what can go on if you truly want this thing to get back up okay let's yeah, basically, your dream needs a practical plan. Because, as I said, this is basically like an obstacle, a bump for you to... It will either end right now, or you can try and go through that, and it can be stronger, and it can be happy. But your dream needs a practical plan. Like, you can't just... Like, we need to talk and just, like, burst out everything impulsively that might work sometimes but like if you're just truly impulsive it just it might burst into another argument and that's not so probably not something that you would want so okay let's take a look at what this card means uh it's full moon in taurus sometimes you need to weave a bit of magic and sometimes you need to be practical and sometimes you need to find a combination combination of the two this card says oh, i can't speak today this card suggests that this is where you are now and you need to use the law of attraction to draw in what you want by imagining it expecting it welcoming it but you need to balance that with taking down down to earth steps towards your goals this isn't about wishing on the moon and hoping for the best. It's about making something like a list of bullet points about how to achieve your dreams. If you're asking about money, this card heralds a change of financial fortune. Fortunes depending on both your past actions and what you're expecting, therefore attracting. The attune to the moon is to write 10 things that you know are wonderful about you. Additional meaning for this card is that Laziness could explain your current situation. If so, change that now and own it. Chasing money doesn't work. You need to chase a dream. Jealousy or envy creates negative energy and attract negativity. And more exercise is called for. The teaching of this card is that full moon in Taurus is the time to get back to Earth, to get grounded, to work through any negative feelings you've been dealing with and to find a balance between being passionate and being overly intense money issues may come to a head at the time of the full moon in taurus but you can take this card as a sign to pay more attention to your cash flow no matter when you draw it damn this card is pretty like 
materialistic and money driven so maybe that can also be a factor of why you guys are s separated right now and well regardless still you need a plan for things like jot down everything have notes like just honestly think things through why are things this way and when you are ready have a like calm rational and mature conversation about your relationship with the person in question and that's it for this reading i hope that things make sense and it resonates um please consider to like comment and or subscribe and maybe share my channel with your friends if you think that they might be interested and that's it for today please uh i hope you enjoyed it and yeah thank you bye bye